Hey everybody, Gavin Jonquil here in Atlanta. Hope you guys are doing good. It's uh, Monday afternoon, a little after 2.30. Want to connect with you guys on something. See if this has happened to you guys before. It's never happened to me, well, till now, right? So, this is one of those lawn care nation stories you guys are gonna love, right? And I'm sure I'm not the only one. So y'all let me know if this has happened to you. So I'm in a small HOA. There's a total of three, four, five, six, seven, and then there's three on the other side. So there's a total of 10 homes, right? You can see, right? They're just typical. They're close, they're tight to each other. Nice little neighborhood, man. These people are great with the exception, right? So, two weeks ago, I'm taking care of the common areas, right? The HOA's hired me. I've been doing this now two years. HOA's hired me to take care of the common areas, right? There's two small common areas. One down on this end, which I'm not even gonna show you, it's real small. And then right here next to the truck. And all it is is just little bit of grass, couple bushes. They don't do pine straw. I've tried. It's just weeds growing in. That's the way we take care of it now. Little gravel walkway and a fire pit, right? That the builder put in when these homes were built probably going back six years ago. Back 2013, I think they were built. So anyway, the homeowner here over my shoulder, that house, his house sits next to the common area. Well, I was here with my guy and he was down on the other end and I was here on this end and he came out in a conniption. I mean, hot as fire. Meanwhile, we'd only been working, I'd only been on the blower here five seconds. He come out screaming, on my property, you're on my property. Excuse me, I had to turn off the equipment on my property you keep bretting up my yard blah 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 I'm like what are you talking about dude take care of the common area I'm not even on your yard no no i saw you peeking through the window i saw you come over come over on my yard I'm like what i'm baffled by this i'm like what are you talking about he was insistent i ran over his yard right now I'm on the stand on blower because we're just blowing leaves now. We're not even cutting anything. It's dry out, just residual leaves from blowing everywhere. I'm not even doing anything. So I'm like, listen, dude, I don't want any problems. I don't want any problems. He's like, stay off my property. Or I'm going to call the cops. One of those, I'm going to call the cops, dudes. Douche. Anyhow, I'm like, dude. I was insistent. Dude, I said this three, four, five. I was like, dude, I don't want any problems, man. You hired me. I'm here to do a job. That's what I'm doing. You want me to leave all these leaves right here for you? Whatever. I'm going to call the cops. Get off my yard. I'm like, oh, geez. I'm like, again, three, four, five. I'm like, dude, I don't want any problems. Let me introduce myself. Stuck my hand out. Dude wouldn't shake it. I said, listen, I don't want any problems. Don't call the cops. There's no need for that. It'd be ridiculous, right? I'm just cleaning up these leaves, dude. Stay on my property. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're talking about. So check this out. We'll see what he's talking about with his property. See what you guys think. All right, so like I said, right behind the truck, his house is here. And this is the common area, right? There's nothing to it. Dude, all it is is this little bit right here, right? That's it. That's Benham Dan's fence. Fire pit, gravel. And these are the, the fence to these people right here. This is it, small, right? So you guys seen in my previous videos, I got that hurricane, right? Look at the difference in the property line. What's it, maybe like two feet? So I'm here, get on a blower. Come right here. So I can blow these leaves over. Like I said, I didn't even get to the wood fence 
and he come out. I'm like, what are you talking about? So like I told you, dude, that was it. Look at that difference. What, two feet? That blower's three feet wide? So what, 10 inches? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, and by the way, I think he started parking there now. Convenient, right? Convenient. So, there you have it. Ridiculous? I don't know. I think so. 10 inches? Call the cops. Cops show up. They talk to him. And again, he called him after I insisted three, four, five. I'm like, dude, relax. Let me introduce myself. I, we do. There's no need for this. Don't want any problems. Rutting up his yard. Dries a bone out. I'm, who, who, who do a unit that weighs 500 pounds on a dry day that it hadn't rained in two weeks ruts up yards? Whatever, dude. Anyway, two cops show up. Girl cop, guy cop. They talk to him. He's just like, I told him to stop. I told him to stop. And I'm, like, I'm just standing there laughing going, I don't know why you called, dude. We could have had this conversation, but you didn't want to have it. So, so the cops are like, all right, we'll talk to him. So the dude goes inside. Well, first of all, the cops are like, well, your only options are they'll civil suit, whatever. He's like, I just want him off my property. Whatever. So the cops, he guy goes inside, cops come over, they talk to me, and they're like, uh, so, and I'm like, listen, I apologize that you even had to bother to come out here. After I insisted, I didn't want any problems, and the dude's just a hothead. Don't get it. I really don't. But they come out, and they were like, just stay off it. You know, whatever he's saying, just don't do it, whatever. Well, Whatever. I'm, dude, I'm not here for any problems. You hired me to take care of this area. There's 10 people in this... There's 10 homes in this community. It's not a home of 300. It's 10. You hired me to do a job. I've been doing it for like two and a half years now. I don't get it. But that's it. And I'm like, again, cops, I apologize. Y'all even had to come out here. Sorry if I interrupted your lunch, whatever. I got to go back to work. I hope y'all have a good day. Be good. Be safe. I'm out of here. So that was two weeks ago. So today was the first day I was back, of course. Get out of the truck, I park, do jump on the big blower, do the small other side, do this side. I don't know, dude's probably peeking through windows for all I know. But anyhow, wanted to fill you guys in. Someone get the cops called on you? For what? How bad was it or was it totally stupid? Because my guess it was totally stupid. One of the, Everybody has those property people that are like, will lay down and die for six inches on an edge. You know what I mean? You don't string trim far enough over. You don't mow far enough over. I don't want to mow yours. Or you mow too far over. It's like, holy Jesus, dude. Anyway, Lawn Care Nation. I know you guys can relate. Hope you enjoyed that story. Your boy's not in a clinker. We still got the account. We're just doing our thing. So, hopefully y'all can relate. Enjoy the story. Subscribe, comment. I want to hear what you guys got to say. Y'all been picked up, checked out, six inches, whatever. Till next time, be good. I'm out.